Great afternoon, business owners and managers. Wes Walters here. Beautiful afternoon here. Just came from what I thought I was about to support or patronize a business. And they were closed on a Tuesday at 1 o'clock. <laughs> now, how should I say this? As an entrepreneur, you know, most entrepreneurs... They became entrepreneurs because, hey, you know, the majority of the entrepreneurs I know is that one, they either realized that they were smarter than their, their manager or their boss, and they're like, hey, I could do this for myself, or they got sick and tired of uh, reporting to someone else, and they're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to be my own boss. Now, here's the problem with that, <laughs> is that, you know, and I... I want to be very clear. I want to be very clear. As an entrepreneur, I'm all about creating the life that I want. I'm going to be very clear. Here it is on a Tuesday at 12 o'clock. I'm just taking a stroll. That's the life that I created, and that's the life that I want. And I can do this from anywhere in the world. So I want to be very, I want to preface by saying that, hey, that's what I enjoy, and that's what most entrepreneurs want. So, you want to be closed any day you want, you can. However, <laughs> however, if you have customers like Wes Walters, he's going to get you. Now, I'm used to businesses being closed on a Monday because like most entrepreneurs, they want to take an extended weekend. So they have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, off Monday. I totally get that. Most of the business friends, most of my friends who own businesses, they're all closed on Monday. They're like, look, I don't work on Monday. Every weekend is a three-day weekend. I get it. But Tuesday? <laughs> How? Like, so you end your weekend. <laughs> end your weekend. Go back to work on Monday. <laughs> And then <laughs> close on Tuesday. How? Like, how, wh why would you do that? Like, and, and here's the here's the good here's the the bad part. Someone was inside the restaurant, so I went to the restaurant, and I'm like, hey, you know, the door's locked. I knocked. Someone came to the door <laughs> and said, "Oh, we're closing Tuesdays." It's like what? I was like. <laughs> Not Mondays. We're closed on Tuesdays. Yeah. So turn around. Get back in your car, Mr. Walters, and go back. And I was like, I just could not understand that. I'm like, no explanation. She didn't give me an explanation. She didn't say, hey, we're closing Tuesdays because, you know, this is temporary. But just, hey, we're closing Tuesdays. So I'm thinking, like, what, what? Jackie got night classes at Job Co? Like, what? <laughs> like, Why? Like, why is this, like, why are you closed on Tuesdays at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? And you are in the, bills, the business, in the building, open the door, tell me you're closed, no explanation. So business owners, if you're going to be on the premises, which you shouldn't have to do it each and every single time, but at least put a sign, say, hey, we're closed on Tuesdays. This is short term, it's temporary because blank, we're doing renovations, we're doing black. Make up a story, you know. Don't say Jackie has night classes at Job Co. Don't say that, but at least uh, give your uh, patrons um, a reason because once you put that, re that word why and because in, if you read the book or influence, it automatically makes it, not automatically, customers are more likely to be understanding once you insert because or why. So that's the power of because or why. But if you just say, hey, we're closing Tuesdays, customers like Wes Walters are left to fill in the blank and decide what they want to decide. I'm thinking, Jackie got classes at Job Co. That might not be the case. You might say, hey, it's Ramadan or it's whatever religious holiday you have or you celebrate or you, you honor. Or for whatever reason, you just choose to be closed on Tuesdays. The point is, <laughs> which is strange, if you're closed on Tuesdays, you're open on Monday, closed on Tuesdays, open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, if you're 
going to be closed. Again, the purpose is inserting the word why or because, giving the customers a reason why you're closed. And again, it's, there's a lot of science and a lot of research that goes into it, but using the word why and because, justifying why you're closed, uh, your customers are more likely to be receptive to that action. So again, Wes Walters here, just wanted to leave some gems with you guys. Open up on Tuesdays, please. <laughs> Don't start the new year off like that. All right, see you guys later.